Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I have returned to continue working on the House of Diaf. <laughs> I, uh... Since I'm staring at it right now, I feel like I should mention that I have learned since the uh, previous time I played this that the SpongeBob levels are actually more extensive than I realized because they're, uh... Well, they're paid DLC, actually. Go figure. Aura Smith and Jenny Pebbles, that's right. Well, I've done an all right job on the front of the house, and I guess that's the important part. Once again, I seem to have the audio levels all kerfuffled. And once again, I just had to click on the audio slider to remind it that I had lowered it from max volume. It is weird doing this at an angle, but the thing isn't wide enough if I look at it straight on. Oh! the window itself. That's nice. Ah, I should be killing Seth right now, not wiping scum off of a window. Where's, where's prone? There's prone. I'm here today, in case you hadn't been watching the uh, the other videos. Because I've run into a bug in, uh... In Crisis 2, my main playthrough right now. Namely, this bug. Every time I try to leave this parking garage... ...the game crashes. So I'm not in love with that fact. Oh. You know, I'm dealing with it. Again, my main issue so far with finding a solution has to do with the fact that apparently the Crisis remasters are known for uh, randomly crashing. Like, you'll just be running around and it'll crash. It's even happened to me a couple times. Except in both of those cases, I just loaded the game and then it didn't crash again. In this particular one, it's a consistent crash every time I do that, so I don't know how to get around that. Why am I walking around the back? Whatever. Yes, yeah, so we can remind ourselves that there's still so much work to be done over here. But it's okay, the house seems uh, on board with this plan. Oh. Can't have that. There's not going to be so much left of wooden trim if there's just nothing. Are you also wooden trim? No, it's two different wooden trims. That is what I thought. Oh, the top! I need a ladder. I have a ladder. Right, you can't just put it in the middle like a normal person. But, uh, I'm glad I figured that out relatively quickly. And look at that! I got the wall at the same time. Hey man, nobody told me about cleaning the eavesdrops. That's not a specialty service. Couldn't 
figure out how to step onto the roof for a moment there. That was odd. Sure moves slowly when you're crouching sometimes. When I'm not crouching, when you're looking down, rather. I don't know why I said crouching. It wasn't even what I was thinking. Ew. What do we got here? Bird poo, grime, and lichen. I wonder why bird poop is white and all the other is isn't. And just I know I you know it's in the frame form of a question, but for the record, I genuinely don't want to know the answer to that question. It's just a mild curiosity. It slows way down as I'm going down this uh this ramp. My own ladder was getting in the way. Oh yes, the gleaming of the sun when it only happens when you move the uh, the mouse for some the mouse the uh, the stick for some reason. Well, I imagine it would happen if I move the mouse. Uh, kind of, but it actually flickers so much faster it's harder to notice, except for right there. What? I saw that. He did the, uh, the, the crisis thing, where you're too close to something, so he pulls the, gu the, the gun in close to his chest. Imagine the back spray if you're like lying on your back spraying straight up. Ah, boy. So I'm pondering other possibilities. I've got the original version of uh, Crisis 2. If I play that through to the part I was at, will it not have the same crash bug? I don't love this plan because it, you know, would take hours of getting through the same bits again. And, uh... I don't know that it won't work. What? No, I don't know that it will work is what I meant to say. Uh, yes. Like, for all I know, it's just whatever the, th the problem is. It's, it's just triggering it in the original Crisis code, not in the remake code. You know, the worst part of it is, just now, when I was, uh, filming that demonstration? The first time I actually did that, I made it to street level and stayed there. And a devastator in the road started shooting at me. So I paused the video. Composed myself, and then... Said, hey, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna go for it. And I started my timer, and I pulled the trigger, and it crashed again. Waited. Waited until I had hope. And I don't approve of that one little bit.
And I could, you know, move on to something else and put Crisis on hiatus if I can't fix it for now, but, uh, what do I do there? Do I... Do I go for something, like, similar to Crisis, like Halo 3 ODST, in order to, like, finish the thought? You know, follow through on the idea of playing through a, uh, first-person shooter. Do I play something totally different? It's very discouraging. I mean, it is nice that it's categorically not my fault. I am really good at uh, blaming myself for things, but I don't think that's necessary in this case. Or fair, for that matter. Take that, green shit. Take that, literal shit. Boy, that aiming mode is, uh, not easy to use. It probably looks easier than it is, having to account for all these angles and the things you're aiming at. Blocking off the f Hey, look at that! I feel like this is important. Make the front of the house look nice so the neighbors can enjoy. Crisis 2 in particular gave me so much trouble back in the day trying to start a Let's Play. But I figured when I hit 30 videos, I was probably fine. You know, around the time I got to that first stalker that uh, stabbed me in the chest. Oh, I thought to myself, uh, well, it's probably smooth sailing from here. Well, I didn't say it out loud, so I didn't have to knock on wood. Maybe I should've. Clean off the fun. I feel like this also doesn't take into account the fact that, uh... You know, don't get me wrong, the f all the things I have re marveled over before, like, you know, the each amount of dirt and needing a different amount of pressure to clean it off and all that. You know, this game is still an incredibly good simulation of cleaning things with water, but it does not at all take into account the fact that if I'm cleaning here, there's water gushing down the roof and flowing over this stuff, which would be minutely cleaning it as I go. Maybe it's just boiling hot, so it immediately evaporates. I mean, there is a lot of steam coming off of there. Kids, do not use boiling hot water with power washers. I can't imagine that ending well. Is that dirt, or no, it's actually just dark. Okay. That's definitely dirt, though.
Seeing the different things you could hose off in a Warhammer level, and the most unsettling one that occurred to me that wasn't like a beast of chaos or something was a Dreadnought, which is, uh... You're not familiar with Warhammer. Picture a mech, like a vaguely humanoid walking machine, like an American-style one, where it's basically a box with legs and little stubby arms mounted on the side that are usually just guns. Although in Warhammer, the Dreadnought arms do often have claws on the ends. Like manipulator claws, I mean. Sometimes they do have literal claws, and I had to remind myself of that. But, um... They don't have pilots. They have occupants. They, uh... See, when one of the uh, Warhammer's famous space marines uh, is mortally wounded, they don't just let him die. They put him into a perfect life support machine, like a tube full of liquid. And then they put the tube full of liquid inside a dreadnought for the rest of eternity. Because even getting your dumb ass killed is no excuse to stop giving 110% for the Emperor, which leads to the Dreadnought's signature line, Even in death, I still serve. So you'd basically be hosing off a giant machine covered in the gore of its enemies that's, uh, conscious, aware of what you're doing, and more than likely talking nonsense, because Dreadnought occupants tend to be so old. You know, they tend to have been in there so long that they're kind of going the Space Marine equivalent of senile. I believe when uh, Games Workshop sued Blizzard over StarCraft 1, that was one of the things they pointed to, that uh, Blizzard basically took the concept behind the Dreadnoughts wholesale and used it for the Protoss Dragoon unit. So they made it less, uh, creepy. The whole entombed in a machine for all eternity thing. I mean, the Space Marines see it as a duty and an honor. It's probably notable that when Chaos builds uh, Dreadnoughts, it's always against the pilot's will. They would rather die than be locked in that machine for all eternity on behalf of Chaos. Mind you, we think they sometimes strengthen them by intentionally getting the machines possessed by demons, so... Yeah, I can understand some of that. Well, buddy, if you didn't want demons haunting your ass for all eternity, maybe you shouldn't have sided with chaos. I suppose this is the one game I can be fairly confident there won't be a sewer level in, huh? Because a sewer is just filth everywhere. It's supposed to be disgusting. You know, it's literally a channel for filth. People aren't going to take the time to do this. On the other hand, it might be funny for that specific reason to clean off some, like, ancient aqueducts or something, but sadly they don't have any of those in North America. I think. I think indoor plumbing had been a thing by the time we uh, started building over here, but I'm not sure on that. I do not exactly have the history of engineering memorized. I'm on the floor again. But that's just as well, because the timer is gone. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator, and we continue scrubbing off this house, and making it a 
appear, at least, to be a charming and wholesome place to live. Yay! Oh, let me... Uh, silly. I'll see you next time, Burning Dog fans. Later!